What's up, y'all? Um, I was gonna do this video either last week or the week before. Hang on, let me lower this. I'm listening to some podcast right now, some wrestling podcast. But uh, I'm sick, y'all. I'll stay home sick again. But uh, there's a video on all. Uh, it's gonna be exclusively for the uh, wrestling world society group, and it's about Seth Rollins. And it's it's a serious one. I know I made the one before about sexilent with the whole scandal, but excuse me, there's a legit video on Seth Rollins. Uh man, he could have been saved, yo. When the Shield formed, like when the whole time the Shield was together, they were wrecking shop, like they were the top guys. And that's one thing that was good about the Shield, is that the Shield was a storyline that was building up. Three future stars with one angle. That that's legit right there. Um, and you knew that they were gonna push uh, Roman Reigns. That's the guy that made the shield. That's the guy that the shield was being built around mostly. I thought they were gonna use it as well. Um, on the side to like turn Ambrose into a top heel, and they might still do that. But Seth Rollins, bro, I always thought he was gonna be the odd man out because he was like the spot monkey of the group. <laughs> When he turned on the shield back in uh, June, I believe it was June the 2nd, he turned on the shield. When Seth Rollins turned on the shield, um, I expected like big things to happen. I was like, okay, this is a young man from Ring of Honor from NXT who's uh, getting pushed. He's going to be in a group with Triple H and Randy Orton. Like These guys were evolution, and now they're giving this young man the rub, you know? And th I thought the minute he did that, like, the possibilities were endless. Like, that ro that that segment where he turned on the shield had everybody talking. And it left me wondering, okay, this guy's a member of the authority now. What's he going to do? Money in the bank is coming, so I'm sure I know he's going to win that. Um, He's going to win the Intercontinental title. Um, And, um... Uh, he did win Money in the Bank, which we all knew it. We all saw it. We called it. But that's all. Like, um, he's been he's been proceeded to get jobbed out, to get buried. This man's lost pretty much every feud he's been in. And any one that he's actually won, he did it with help. Um, this is ridiculous. I mean, there's two good examples, even though they led to nothing, but there's two good examples I want to give you guys about pushing a young guy to be a heel like like that. Uh, Randy Orton. Randy Orton, the same thing. 2003-2004. Evolution. Had the Intercontinental title. Pretty much beat everybody in his path. Uh, build up, build up, build up, build up, build up. And a lot of people thought he was being shoved down your throats, but, you know, that's how you build up a story. It wasn't like Brock Lesnar just being undefeated until he won the title. Like, Randy got, was a young guy that got a rub from Evolution. The Intercontinental title, Mick Foley put him over. You know, that's how you build a future heel star like that, to be the top heel. Um, another good example, even though Randy ended up leading to nothing, but now he's an established wrestler. One second. Yeah, Um. so another example is The Miz, okay? The Miz. The Miz got called up to Raw. They changed his gimmick, his look, his music, everything. And uh, which they changed Seth Rollins' music as well. The Miz had money in the bank. He had the US title, uh, a tag team title. He, the man would come out with like the briefcase and with like all the belts all over him. Um, the man was heavily featured on every program. Raw, SmackDown, NXT, you name it, the Miz was there. Um, he was on the cover of a video game. Um, if he hadn't had money in the bank, I would have picked him to win the 2011 Royal Rumble match. Um, but uh, yeah, he that he was built up that whole summer, like that whole summer he was built up. Um, that's how you build a, a, a top heel, a future top heel star, like that. Um, and even though Orton and Miz ended up being nothing, they're both. With those pushes afterwards, they're both established. Like those pushes led to nothing, is what I'm saying. They ended up getting jobbed out <laughs> during their big main events, but they're established stars now. Like everybody knows them. Um, that's what should have happened with Rollins. This man turned on the shield. He cut a promo. 
He won Money in the Bank. He should have had Money in the Bank. He should have had the Intercontinental Championship, at least for the whole summer. Why were Miz and uh, Dolph Ziggler feuding for the IC title that time? It should have been Rollins. Um, Did I say Seth? Yeah, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins, Money in the Bank. He should have had the Intercontinental title. To an extent, I understand John Cena pinning him and Roman Reigns pinning him because we were building Roman up for 2015. But that's it. There were, under no circumstances should of Seth Rollins lost to anybody other than those two guys. He should have been built up. He should have beaten everybody that he feuded with, you know. Have him beat all these faces that come in his path to take his Intercontinental title from him. Because that's what I would have done. He would have been Intercontinental Champion and Money in the Bank. And he would have beat everybody. You know, he can tease that he's going to cash it in, but he's not going to cash in. He beat Sheamus, Ziggler, Ryback, anybody that comes to his path, you know. Or, and he beats Orton, you know. Besides Cena, because I understand Cena, and uh, Roman, I can understand to an extent why you had him beat all, like, these people beat him. But anybody else, no excuses. Um, This man's been jobbed out. Um, and it sucks because it sucks what he's become. So much wasted potential that they've done with him. I don't believe him to be a main eventer right now. I don't because of what they've done with him. This man has lost every feud he's been in. Um, anytime he uh, he wins anything, it's helpful. J and J security, John. The man gets pinned. He got pinned last night for crying out loud. Like he got he got pinned at the show that I went to. Like he we, we beat Ziggler, but then in the dark match he got pinned. Um, and he was teaming with Kane and Big Show for God's sake, like. In the Smart Posters thread, the Raw thread, anytime Seth Rollins comes out, we make fun of him. And and it's ridiculous. Like, this sexcellent thing didn't make it any better, but, like, what the heck? He could have been a big star. He could have been saved. He could have been built up that whole summer after turning on the show, like I said. Mid-car title reign, money in the bank. You know, you build him up. Have him either win the Rumble and go to WrestleMania and win the belt. Or cash in at WrestleMania and win the belt. <clears throat> and then when he wins, and this is a bit extreme, but I would do it like just to show what a badass he is. Uh, the night after WrestleMania, he's celebrating with the championship with Triple H and the authority and have him, Seth Rollins, turn around and beat the crap out of Triple H. Beat the crap out of him and curb stomp him and be like, look, I never needed you. I don't need you. I never needed you. You're just like John Cena and Randy Orton and everybody else that's trying to hold me back. I'm Seth Rollins, and I'm the new face of the company. I am the future, but the future is now. You know, bam, you have your top heel. Uh, and this motherfucker will be the top heel for like, he would be the top heel for like the next 10 years. You'd have Rusev and Bray Wyatt a little bit under him, because there's no reason those two should be face ever. But yeah, Rollins would be your established heel, and he'd beat everybody, uh, and then you could have him feud with a bunch of people, too. Like, it's endless. Roman Reigns, John Cena, Randy Orton, Dean Ambrose, Ryback, Dolph Ziggler, Daniel Bryan. You name it. Um, have him face all comers, especially with Lesnar leaving. You've got a guy, Seth Rollins, who's ready, credible, and people can buy him into him as champion. Because I know right now the only people who buy into him as champion are those guys that are, like, just want him to win. Like, I do not see it. Like, I think Roman, especially after this feud with Brian, has way more potential and credibility than Seth Rollins has. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard because I think Dean Ambrose has a little bit more potential than Seth Rollins too. Not now, because of all the times this man has been jobbed out. It's ridiculous, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. And uh, I don't know why. Can Seth Rollins recover? Um, it's going to be tough. He can. Yes, he can. But it's going to be tough. Um, and yeah, man, that's all I want to say about Seth Rollins. Um, I hope he can recover because this company needs a fucking heel. Um, a bad heel. I mean, I think the top heel in the company right now is Triple H and Stephanie. I don't even know if, uh, Brock Lesnar's a heel. But, uh, yeah, man, that's all I want to say. Um, uh, excuse me. I hope you guys liked the video. There's a real quick and prompt to overdo video that I was going to do about Seth Rollins and how he could have been saved. Because <laughs> it's a shame to see. in that good match at the Royal Rumble, like, we could have seen more of that. And we might, you know, if they push this guy, we could see every pay-per-view his main event could be like that. But that's for another day.
Anyway, I hope they push Seth Rollins' money in the bank. But Roman first, because Roman Reigns is the man. All right, later, y'all.